ever in your life have you seen anything like that. This was the call made by Vern Lundquist in 2005 at the Masters. It was the 16th hole on a Sunday. Tiger Woods was leading by one shot, and he chipped in on a crazy chip, and it was arguably the most famous golf shot of all time, and it eventually led him to win that year's Masters. I have a passion for golf. I love golf, and I think everyone else should too. And I want to kind of talk about how to perform a golf chip shot, because I think short game is the most important part of golf, and I think people make chipping overcomplicated because sh short game is how you score well and people think chipping has to be this crazy complicated thing but it really boils down to a couple simple tricks. Now, I know many of you out there might not like golf or might not care about it, might not think it's enthusiastic or whatever you may think, but golf is really a great sport to play your whole life and it's great to learn because it's easy on the body, it's a great social, um, aspect and it's great for business it's used in the business world a lot it's how you make deals it's how you meet people and again like i said businesses use it for social events and organizations and so golf is overall great it's a great sport to learn after high school or college um, when you really can't play many organized sports competitively anymore um, and so today i do want to be talking about how to perform a golf chip shot by keeping your wrist locked through impact and by placing the ball correctly in your stance. Now, keeping your wrists locked through impact just means not flipping them. Um, you don't want it, you want to keep your lock wrist rigid and in the same position they started in. What this kind of means is that when you flip your wrist, you either hit the ball thin or fat. Hitting it thin means you hit it with the leading edge of the club and it goes super far and not with no spin. And hitting it fat literally just means you hit the ground first. And obviously, if you hit the ground first, that's not good because you want to hit the ball first, and that creates a lot of problems. Um, an example of this is, uh, I'll show you the golf club. When you flip your wrist, the leading edge comes in like this, and the club face is wide open, and that is how you hit the golf ball first, is by hitting this leading edge when you flip your wrist. As opposed to if you had your wrist locked, the, ball, the shaft would stay ahead of your hands here, and the club face would be a lot more square, and that's how you hit the ball first. Um, my personal example of this is I unfortunately flip my wrist a lot or have in the past and I've ruined holes or rounds because I would hit it thin or hit it super fat and fly it across the green. Um, Butch Harmon is one of the most renowned golf coaches of all time. He coached Tiger Woods in his prime and in his book The Pro he preaches about um, keeping your wrist, wrist locked at impact while chipping. Um, he says it's the most important aspect of chipping, period, and that everyone should do that to better succeed and have better success rates on their chips. Now, the second part of chipping is the ball position and where you place the ball in your stance. Uh, this just means that you're either going to put the ball in the front of your stance or in the back of your stance. Um, when the ball is in the front of your stance, this creates a really high shot with a lot more spin, so you get less rollout. This is ideal for hitting it over short hazards and if you don't have a lot of green to quote unquote work with. Um, hitting, putting the ball in the back of your stance lets the ball roll out a lot more, it keeps it really low and it has a lot less spin. Um, Phil Mickelson, who just won the PGA Championship and is arguably the greatest golfer of all time with him and Tiger Woods and a few others of course, um, but he's arguably the greatest short game player of all time. Many people believe that. And if you listen to his videos or listen to him speak, he always talks about ball placement when chipping. He loves to talk about it. And he thinks it's the most important aspect because you really know where your shot is going to go. You know if it's in the front of your stance, it's gonna go really high and spin a lot less. And if it's in the back of your stance, it's gonna go really low and spin a lot, uh, spin, spin less and roll out more. Now, an example of this would be if you were five, 10 yards off the green and the pin was in the very back of the green, you have a lot more room to work with. So you would hit a low shot and put the ball in the back of your stance so it has less spin and rolls out a lot more and rolls all the way to the pin. Now, me personally, I love to play high shots when I'm chipping, but that's just me. But I love it if I'm hitting over bunkers or high or water, I put the ball in the front of my stance and it gets a high shot with a lot more spin and so it comes up high and lands super soft and that and so it doesn't roll out anymore and that's what I feel like I control best and it's what I, I like to do but again you can use either technique they both work very very effectively I hope I have taught each of you how to better perform a golf chip shot by locking your wrists at impact and by 
emphasizing the ball position in your stance. Thank you.